which is faster at rendering videos, Camtasia 2022 or Camtasia 2021? Probably that's the main question at this moment. And I've seen comments on the Camtasia forum or the TechSmith forum. And clearly there's an issue with Camtasia 2022. This is Camtasia 2022. And I do have a project here that is a small project, a two minute and 11 second project. And these are just spotlights. Uh, this is just a logo, a logo, and then the recordings for this particular tutorial. So I want us to see how fast this is going to render out in Camtasia 2022. So I'll just look at the task manager and you'll see that the CPU load only probably has the load for uh, Camtasia 2022 and the recorder. The memory more or less on this 43%, that's okay. So let's go to export and then uh, the legacy local file. And then see the free trial version. Just click on produce with watermark and then click on next, next. And then I uh, will set everything as the size to 1920 by 1080 video settings. I uh, just leave this at 75% for the quality, the audio at 128. And then let's click on next, next. And then let's finish for it to render out. So there we go. It's rendering out. Uh, as you'll notice, Camtasia is a CPU intensive application. And I'm not so sure why they've never considered enabling GPU rendering because most laptops, most computers underuse GPU when it comes to Camtasia. And I think this is something they need to just push out as an update, not to wait for another year to actually just push that out. So you can see the CPU usage, the memory usage, ATC. Uh, I feel for a two minute video is a little bit slower than what I have seen in Camtasia 2021. But let's give it a try and see what we actually get. If the results we get is anything to go by. So there we go. It's almost done. And it's done. We've rendered this particular video, a two minute video in Camtasia 2022. Next up, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at how fast the same video renders in Camtasia 2021. So let's just pull up Camtasia 2021. Here we are inside Camtasia 2021 with the identical project. And you can see are the same spotlights we had. And then we have the logos and then the audio for the screen recording ATC. This is the same tutorial as you've just actually witnessed in Camtasia 2022. So we just need to render it out. Let's go to export local file, next, next. And then we look at the size 1920 by 1080, the video settings, so that is, let us set this at 75, audio settings 128. Let's click on next, next, and then let's click on finish. So we'll pull up our dialog box here again, and you can see still the same usage of the CPU, actually in Camtasia 2021, the CPU is being used more. Probably that's where Camtasia 2021 is winning because it is using more of the CPU than Camtasia 2022. But this raises the question, why not just enable GPU rendering if one has GPU or aka graphic processing unit or a graphics card in your computer? Camtasia 2021 is extra fast or super fast compared to Camtasia 2022 at rendering videos. And this is what people are complaining about in the Camtasia forum. And I don't know, probably the team at TechSmith are trying to optimize to reduce on a CPU usage, but I don't think that's what they should be targeting right now. They should, giving, they should be giving uh, creators or people that use Camtasia the option to enable GPU rendering. Just that, if one has GPU, let them just dedicate it to rendering on GPU. That would make life much easier uh, for everyone involved or actually just split both, but more for the GPU and uh, slowly for uh, for the CPU. 
that would make life much easier. So I'll show you the results and how fast and by how much so that if you've not yet upgraded, probably you might want to stick to Camtasia 2021. If your workflow really involves long videos, instead of spending hours waiting for a video to complete rendering, then you'll know that you'll rather stick with Camtasia 2021 than upgrade to Camtasia 2022 if the new features in Camtasia 2022 is something you will not use. So we're going to look at that next. So the results are out and you've probably seen uh, the results and for Camtasia 2022, it takes about a minute to render a two minute clip, just about a minute. That's how long it takes. No, uh, no major effects, no stacked up videos or whatever, just a simple straight out video. As for Camtasia 2021, uh, we've seen the results as well and clearly for that two minute video it takes about 30 seconds or 31 seconds to do that therefore Camtasia 2021 is 50 percent faster than Camtasia 2022 therefore until they fix that particular issue where rendering on Camtasia 2022 is a little bit slower I'd recommend you don't upgrade otherwise you're going to waste a lot of time waiting for the render and it doesn't matter what type of spec computer you have because there are two things it seems in Camtasia 2022 they reduced the dependency on rendering on CPU uh, unfortunately they've not enabled rendering on GPU which is quite unfortunate and most applications enable GPU rendering and I don't think this is something they need to wait to push out in Camtasia 2023 as a paid app, as a paid feature, I don't think that's something they need to do uh, in this scenario. But Camtasia 2021 is 50% faster than rendering on Camtasia 2022, but it is also dependent on the system that you're using, how good it is, uh, and probably the RAM, the CPU, ATC. So that's my take, which is faster at rendering videos, at the time of recording this video, Camtasia 2021 is, and until they fix that issue, probably bump up uh, the dependency of Camtasia 2022 on the CPU, you'll have to stick with a slower version. And that's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.